Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation for this uh, MCC Spirit of Cricket Test Match between uh, Pakistan and Australia. Congratulations to Pakistan for winning the Test Match and uh, beating Australia for the first time in 15 years. I'd like to introduce to you the presentation party on my left, John Pickup, a uh, board member of the ECB, uh, Ray Illingworth, the president of Yorkshire County Cricket Club, Ijaz Butt, the chairman of the Pakistan Cricket Board, John Barclay, the president of MCC, and Chris Broad, the match, refer ma uh, match referee for this game. Now, before we... Uh, say who the men of the match are, the two, two uh, men of the match awards today, and talk to the captains. We've got a special presentation to make to Rudy Kurtzen. So I'd like Rudy, if you would, to come up, please, whilst we uh, present you with something a little bit special on your retirement. Rudy, you have given the game outstanding service. Your career has spanned 108 tests, 209 one-day internationals, and 14 2020 matches which bears testimony to your steadfastness as well as your love of cricket and umpiring. Rudy, you're a man of great character and integrity, and that is why captains, players, administrators and your fellow match officials have so much respect and such a high regard for you. Congratulations, Rudy, on your wonderful career, and it's with great pleasure that I ask Chris Broad to hand over the sculpture depicting you with your legendary slow death dismissal of a batsman made by the renowned South African sculptor Harry Johnson. This comes from your colleagues at ICC in Dubai and your fellow umpires and referees. Well done, Rudy. Have a long and happy retirement. Now, we've got a, an Australian man of the match and a Pakistan man of the match. First of all, I'd like uh, Shane Watson to come up, please. These uh, the two men of the match. Awards have uh, been chosen by Ray Illingworth, the President of Yorkshire, and both players get a cheque for £2,500 from John Barclay. Shane, just a quick word. Uh, bad luck, but it, you were fighting to the end, weren't you? Yeah, no doubt. We bowled beautifully this morning. Uh, would have been nice to be, I think to be really able to string that together a little bit better yesterday afternoon, but I think this morning we showed some really good fight and gave ourselves a, a chance. Uh, there wasn't, I suppose, a big chance um, this morning, but we definitely bowled very well to give us that slight, slight opportunity. You've had a fine series with the ball, haven't you? Yeah, with the ball, it's been nice. It's been nice bowling conditions. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work out with a, the bat this series. It um, would have been nice to get a few more runs, especially in the second innings um, yes, uh, yesterday, but unfortunately, it wasn't the case. But you've got to make the most of the conditions when uh, it's, it suits your bowling, and it was nice to be able to get a few weeks during the series. Shane, well done. Thanks. Cheers. OK. Now, uh, the man of the match for Pakistan. The young bowler we'll be seeing an awful lot more of over the next uh, few years. It's Mohamed Amir. Again, Mohammed will get a cheque for uh, £2,500 from John Barclay. <laughs> Mohammed, just quickly, how are you feeling? Uh, when you won the game, I think you're feeling well, and I'm so happy. You'll be absolutely delighted, won't you? That big smile won't leave your face for, for many, many days. This is good for you. I think this is good for your confidence when you smile and you're feeling good and relax. And how are you going to celebrate? Uh, with team. I think this is team effort. Not only my, this is team effort and I'm really happy for that. Well done. Your bowling has uh, entertained us royally these last two test matches. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much. Mohamed Amir, the Pakistan man of the match. And now, uh, just time to have a quick word with both captains. First of all, Ricky Ponting. Ricky, well, you nearly did it in the end, didn't you? We nearly got there, yeah. Um, you know, great commitment by the squad. I thought the last night and this morning the players were terrific the way they approached the, the last half of the game. But, um, you know, it was probably, uh, we were always pushing uphill after the first day of the game, you know, bowled out for 88. Uh, I thought our batting second innings was, was reasonable. We gave ourselves a chance of winning the game, but we weren't quite good enough. Would you bat again if you won the toss? Not if I knew the wicket was going to do that much. I mean, anyone that was out there that morning probably wouldn't have expected it to seem as much as it did. I, thought, I think we all knew that it was going to swing a little bit that morning. Um, I was obviously hoping the sun was going to come out at some stage on day one, but it, it didn't do that. So 
Um, I thought Pakistan used the conditions perfectly. They bowled very, very well day one and had our batsmen, all of our batsmen, under immense pressure all the time. So, um, yeah, they thoroughly deserve to win the test. It's been a hugely entertaining series. It has been. Both games have been uh, excellent games of cricket. I think, you know, turning up midway through both the first test and this test match, both teams have probably felt that they were a good chance of winning the game. And I'm sure the, the crowds and the fans that have turned out to watch have, have been on the edge of their seats for the, probably the last half of both the test matches. So this morning is, you know, that's as good as test match cricket gets. That's the way you want to see test matches finish, you know, going down to the wire like that. So, um, yeah, I'm sure everyone's enjoyed it. We've certainly enjoyed playing uh, this series against Pakistan and congratulations to them for winning the way, the way they have this game. Ricky, uh, well done. Thanks for those, uh, those words. Will we see you in England again as a player? I don't know. We'll wait and see. Um, I'm not getting any younger. We all know that. But look, I, I always enjoy coming to England and playing. It's, it's a great place to play cricket. Uh, the fans are terrific all around the country. And who knows, if I, uh, if I can keep scoring a few runs, then I might be back again. Well, thanks for all the entertainment you've given us so far. Thanks, mate. Ricky Ponting, captain of Australia. And now, the victorious captain, the captain of Pakistan, Salman Butt. Salman, congratulations. What a start to your captaincy career with Pakistan. Uh, yes, I think it's wonderful. It's nothing more than I could have asked for. And thank God, in the end, it was nerve-wracking, but we won. Well, you must be a very emotional man winning this test match like this. Yes, I think it's happened after a long time, and I think this is the belief that carried the Australians on fighting till the end. But I think uh, I owe this win to this young side. I think all of them performed wonderfully well under pressure. And I think uh, we all, all of us, we dedicate this win to the people back home who would have loved to see this happening in Pakistan. But unfortunately, that's not the case at the moment. And uh, in the end, I'd, I'd like to thank the crowd. I think they were a wonderful support to us. That's all. Do you, do you see and hope this is a new beginning for Pakistan cricket? Definitely. I think uh, these uh, young guns uh, that I have with me, I think uh, they are the people to look forward to for the future. And I think if, if they can do well in these conditions against the world's best, then I think they can perform, uh, they can become world beaters. Well, even though it was a nerve-wracking uh, morning for you, you've proved something to yourselves, haven't you? The young team, as you say, you've proved that you can win. I think it's only the beginning to discover themselves and hopefully it carries on in a positive way and everybody uh, becomes more eager to learn because this is just the beginning. We will make mistakes. We are a young side and uh, we would like to be owned even then when we make mistakes. But uh, by one thing I can assure definitely is that we'll work even harder, inshallah. Well, you've got four more test matches coming up against England. You must be looking forward to those very much now. Definitely. England are a very good side and... Uh, They've also beaten the Aussies in the Ashes, so I think we definitely look forward and uh, this game will take us a long way, inshallah. Well, Salman, thank you for entertaining us so royally over the last fortnight in these two test matches and have a great time over the rest of the summer here in England. Thank you and thank you to the ECB for providing us this opportunity to play our home series over here. I think they also uh, did a world of good to Pakistan cricket. Thanks. Well done. Salman Butt then, the captain of the victorious Pakistan side and that concludes the presentation.